It was another shot of good news for the H1N1 vaccine effort. Today, the Food and Drug Administration has approved applications for vaccines for the 2009 H1N1 virus. It will be the biggest immunization campaign in U.S. history. But with the first batches not expected until mid-October, will the vaccine come in time to blunt the flu surge expected this fall? There's no doubt that we're in a race, the virus versus the vaccine. So the sooner we can get the vaccine and get it into people, the more likely we are to uh, uh, kind of truncate this uh, epidemic. The CDC reports flu activity is increasing around the country and has been found in all 50 states. For the week ending September 4th, nearly 5,000 new cases surfaced on college campuses. The southeast and mid-Atlantic were hardest hit. The vaccine approval is timely. New studies indicate the H1N1 virus stays in your system longer than previously thought. One study found 40 percent of patients may still be contagious seven days after symptoms begin. I think we're learning that this virus is the seasonal virus uh, a little bit on steroids. It seems to be spread for a more prolonged period of time after people get uh, completely well. The CDC is still advising people they can go back to school or work one day after their fever goes away. An official there told me this afternoon they're trying to strike a balance between the risk of spreading the virus and disrupting people's lives. Katie? And John, I understand they're initially producing some 45 million doses of the vaccine. Tell us again who will be given priority. Well, first we're going to have pregnant women, health care workers, people who are taking care of infants under the age of six, and then kids six months up to age 24, and then finally people over the age of 24 to say 64 who have underlying medical conditions. So when all is said and done, John, will there be en enough of this vaccine for everyone in the country? Officials think so. I mean, we're going to have about 45 million doses, which is about a quarter of the 160 million doses that we think we're going to need to vaccinate everybody in that first group. That's going to be available starting in around mid-October. And if you've already had the H1N1 flu or you think you have over the summer, do you still need to get vaccinated? I asked the CDC this question. They say yes, because most of the people who were diagnosed with having swine flu or H1N1 over the summer, it was a presumptive diagnosis. You don't know absolutely for sure. So they're saying just in case, get the vaccine and that way you can be sure. All right. Good to know. Dr. John LaPook. John, thanks so much.